Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and today I am going to be unboxing the Freedom Planet physical release limited edition. Very excited about this. They did have one other uh, physical sort of physical release uh, with uh, with their indie uh, what was it like indie box? I think was the website. And that didn't actually include a copy of the game. This was years ago, 2016, 2015. And uh, I waited and waited and waited. And me and the fans were like, Galaxy Trail, make a physical release, please. And gosh, I didn't think it would happen because they were already working on the second game. And uh, it's actually it was actually set to be released before this even uh, got announced. And that was in, I think, 2017. And so... Yeah, by the time 2019 came around, I thought this was a lost cause, and then it got announced that they were actually making not only a physical release, but a deluxe physical release, like you see here. Super excited about this! I've never gotten a deluxe release from, from uh, any of those uh, resellers before. Uh, not resellers, but the uh, small distribution companies. And I'm really excited about this one. Um, and especially because not only does it come with an actual disc, this is the PlayStation 4 copy, but it comes with a soundtrack as well as uh, like a Genesis, Sega Genesis style box. And everything about this game, by the way, is basically phenomenal. I tell people this is the greatest game I've played in 15 years. I think it's even better than Sonic Mania. I love this game. Um, I'm totally a Freedom Planet fanatic. Uh, I think this game is just... Ah, it's it does so many things right that indie developers get wrong and I say that lovingly because indie developers I know work very very hard uh, but they they did their research for this game and they really figured out what worked so well for Genesis games and for Sonic titles and the speed the the pixel art uh, the amount of action the, especially the level design and the enemy design and layout and everything just it really comes together in a wonderful way that uh, really just hits the nail on the head and is such a fantastic game with so many bonuses and unlockables and secrets and uh, tons of levels for the kind of game that it is too. And I, I think of it as a mix between Sonic and Ristar and Pulse Man, uh, three of my absolute most favorite Genesis Mega Drive games. I don't know if those were all inspirations, but it sure seems like it. Um, some might say Mega Man more than Pulse Man, but it, it definitely has a Pulse Man feel to me. So uh, yeah, those are the reasons I love Freedom Planet. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this deluxe box set. And I always use an X-Acto knife. Sometimes I even save the shrink wrap. That's how weird I am. And this this was a little pricey, but it wasn't as bad as some of uh, some of the deluxe editions. Cough Shenmue Three, cough. <laughs> uh, this one was I think seventy something after shipping, and it does come with a lot of extras. Personally, I'm willing to pay a premium for a CD soundtrack or a vinyl soundtrack. Uh, this game especially has an amazing soundtrack, and that was well worth the extra the extra bit of cash for, um, as far as like a button or a sticker or a pin or whatever, I'm not that, I don't care as much about that. Um, but I, I will definitely get excited for a, uh, an OST. And I do hope eventually they make a vinyl OST. I would totally spend some stupid money on a vinyl, uh, galaxy trail soundtrack. Uh, Galaxy Trail, if you're listening to this video, which I highly doubt, please make a vinyl release of your soundtrack for this game because it's one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in a video game, and I love it. And it's the first thing I'm going to do is actually listen to the soundtrack when I open this. And I know people say, oh yeah, you know, it's on Bandcamp or whatever. First off, Bandcamp is, or, or sorry, not Bandcamp, uh, SoundCloud, is uh, 128 kilobyte uh, file stream, uh, data stream, which is terrible for audio. Uh, it's free. I'm not going to complain. I'm not, you know, trying to diss on SoundCloud, but, um, I, uh, I do like having nice CD quality audio and I like having CDs. I know that's old fashioned nowadays. Um, but, uh, and if you remember some of you, some of you might remember from my repair videos, I actually repaired my CD player 
which is this guy. This is an iRiver Slim X. I do love this uh, CD player. And, you know, CD players are still really cheap, really easy to get. Um, I meet people all the time that go, oh, I don't have a CD player. I can't listen to that. Bra, 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 bra. And, you know, it's just like anything else in life. You might not have a lot of things, but, you know, a CD player or a lot of other things in life cost money. And a CD player is real cheap. It's 10 bucks, 15. I mean, at the most with shipping for a brand new one, you might pay 30 bucks. Uh, they're, you know, they're not expensive. And so for people that just want to listen to their music on their phone or their laptop, I do encourage you to invest in a CD player. They're still making CDs. They're still making DVDs. In fact, DVDs are still the most popular uh, video medium, uh, from what I understand. So, uh, you know, these these formats don't don't disappear all the way. And if you want to support, you know, certain projects like this, then um, that's a good way to do it. So it looks like here we got some uh, nice clean packaging. I guess this is going to be the the game itself, the physical released game. Very nice. I do really like the fact that if you get the deluxe version, you get this nice box art. I've, I like this box art a lot more than this art. I know this was like fan art that um, was made later and it's not terrible. Like it's decent. It just doesn't hold a candle to this gorgeous, this gorgeous art that was on the indie box release. I mean, it's just very high caliber stuff. Very cool. This is this is much more of a what I'd expect from more of a budget digital illustration. Although it's very dynamic, I do like that. But it's uh, as a visual artist myself, I can make some criticisms. Very cool. Let's see if I can get a little more light here. All right, and then these are the extras. Oh, there's the soundtrack. This is what I'm most excited for. Nice, and it's got the artwork that I like. Very nice. It's a double CD, a double, uh, double album, which is also freaking awesome. These double jewel cases are super reminiscent of Japanese Mega, Drive, or Mega CD games. Japanese Mega CD games came in these cases a lot, like uh, Echo the Dolphin was a two CD game, Lunar, a bunch of those, they came in cases like this. And uh, we can see the spine. Official soundtrack. Looks very nice. Beautiful. Get pumped and blast off at the speed of Dragon with the official three disc. Oh, it's three discs, holy crap. Galaxy Trails Freedom Planet, conceptualized by Steven Strife, Diduro, digitally mixed and mastered by Wolfie Wilson. I thought Wolfie was the conceptualized. That must mean just like Freedom Planet was conceptualized. But I'm pretty sure the score is by Lila Wolfie Wilson. Or maybe not. I'll be interested to see the credits actually of who actually wrote the songs, because they're damn good. Invokes the era of 1990s platform games with a strong focus on catchy, optimistic melodies accentuated with radical guitars. Yeah, that's that sums it up. Synthesized blips and bops and a pinch of celestial flair. In addition to the core music, a large number of bonus tracks have been included. Ooh. The help of VG Music's Blue Warrior and Lilac's voice actress, Dawn Bennett. 70 tracks and three hours of retro bliss await you. Love it. Yes. Oh, that is so sweet. Very much worthwhile. That that's that's the that makes the deluxe version worthwhile already. But wait, there's more. We have the Oh, it's blue too. Interesting. The Sega Genesis style. The old Genesis style, mind you. This is pre-1993 before they started doing the uh, the red along the side uh box art. Very cool. And this one has the, the newer uh, art, which I don't like as much, but it does still look cool. And it's a clamshell case in 2019. Ah, and the poster. I forgot that it came with a poster. 
And, you know, it's a little... I wish they didn't do that to it. That's not cool. But let's see if I can get it out of here. Good thing I'm opening this now and not waiting because maybe that little wrinkle isn't going to get better with time. But that looks okay. It actually looks okay once I take it out. So this is the poster, huh? Oh, this looks sweet. Oh, this is totally going on my wall. Oh, I'm not going to unfold this whole thing right now. I don't think I can get it all on camera if I do. Well, let me, let me see what I can do. Let's see. My friend warned me that they would fold up the poster. It's kind of a bummer. I do, I do wish Limited Run uh, would not do that. But, um, you know, you can't have everything. And the thing is, too, is they did fold up posters like this back in the 90s. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I do think when you're spending 70 bucks, they could, they could, you know, spend for a, a tube, you know, poster roller. Anyway, it is a double-sided poster. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Very nice print quality. Very, very nice print quality. In fact, it looks, I mean, it just looks totally professional. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like an indie poster in any way. Like if this came with a Genesis game, in fact, if this came with a Genesis game, I would have been especially blown away because the print quality was not this good back then. Uh, this looks fantastic. And it is the art that I really like. So these are the two art pieces. And I, I do want to find out who made them because uh, they should get credit here for sure. Because uh, the, the artist that made this piece and, and the one uh, on the reverse for the original uh, game release, fantastic artist. Um, just says Galaxy Trail. Um, I really wish they would put the artist's name. I think that's a, that's a misstep. Uh, I do think artists don't get enough credit, and it's really good to support them and give them credit when you can. Uh, especially because a lot of the artists involved in this game were like found on deviant art and stuff like that. Um, look in the description. I'm going to try to put the artist's name because I want to give them credit for sure. I um, wish I had looked it up before I started making this video. But uh, yeah, incredible, incredible artwork, incredible music. I want to make sure everyone gets credit. I mean, I get that Galaxy Trail is trying to like make their brand or whatever, but it's it's uh, there's a lot of individual people that work worked on this project and really did it, put a lot of love into it. And uh, God, it looks so cool. Jeez, look at that. Nice big poster. Lilac. Whew, very cool. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the deluxe set. I think that's everything. You get the box, the poster, the uh, three disc soundtrack, and the game itself. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I don't do a lot of these, but um, had to for Freedom Planet. Absolutely had to. It's great when uh, a company listens to the fans, and this is what we demanded. This is what they did. They made us a kick-ass physical release. I'm going to pop in this soundtrack, and I'm going to jam out to it right now. Freedom Planet rules. Hopefully the second one is as good as the first one. The first one's going to be damn hard to top, because it is a great, great game. Uh, and I can't wait to play it some more. This is Sega Sonic Fan with the Retro Love, signing out.